proportions. Uh, really, proportions are nothing more than uh, equal ratios, which are nothing more than equal fractions. They all kind of mean the same thing. And for something to be proportional, what does that mean? For example, if somebody said that your head was not proportional with your body, what does that mean? Anybody? Keith? Or smaller. Like they have that, isn't that something going on in some other country where the babies are born with really, 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 really small heads? Uh, yeah. Proportional just means that, generally speaking, people, your body kind of grows proportionately, although babies are actually born with big heads compared to their body. It's kind of, babies' heads are actually disproportional to their body because if you look at a, at a fully grown adult human and how big their head is compared to what their body is, a baby actually has a really big head compared to their body. But to be proportional means that, you know, as something grows, as something gets older, it gets bigger, or as one thing grows, the other one grows at an equal amount of rate. And how do you know if something is proportional? Um, for example, oh, look. For example, would uh, three-fourths and six-eighths be proportional? Or does the question you're asking is, would three-fourths and six-eighths be equal, yes or no? How do you know they're equal? Emily? Three times two is six, and four times two is eight. Okay. There's a couple different ways that you can tell, by the way. Okay, you can do this, where we make equal fractions by multiplying the top and the bottom by the same thing. Another way you can tell if proportions or fractions are equal, Elijah? You can write 8 by 4 and write 6 by 4. You can write 8 by 2 and write 6 by 2. Okay, you can multiply or divide. Another way after that. And here's a good way. Yeah, you could reduce, but here, think about this. When two fractions or ratios or proportions are equal, we say their cross products are equal. And I'll tell you what that is in just a second. But that means this. If you take their diagonals and multiply them together, 4 times 6 is 24. Guess what 8 times 3 is? 24. If two fractions are proportional or equal, they're cross products. When you multiply on a diagonal way, you're going to get equal numbers there. That, by the way, is also a way that you can tell since you're sixth graders. Now I'll throw you in on this. If I was comparing seven eighths and nine tenths, oh, I'm sorry, compare them, and I wanted to know which one is bigger, besides making common denominators, another way to tell it is by using their cross products, which means this. Start at the bottom. You have to start at the bottom. Start at the bottom and multiply across. 8 times 9 is 72, right? 10 times 7 is 70. This fraction is bigger than that fraction because of that whole cross product kind of thing there. Now, when we talk about proportions, though, uh, let me go back to that first. For a second. When we talk about proportions, a lot of times we use words, proportions with words. And here is how you would say this, this whole three-fourths and six-eighths thing. You would say this like this, three, three is to four as six is to 8. 3 is to 4 as 6 is to 8. And an example of when you might use that, um, let's say 3 candy bars cost $4. For things to be equal and proportional, 6 candy bars would have to cost $8. Because price and uh, quantity are proportional. How many you buy for this much means that much. Just like uh, if three candy bars cost $4, six would cost $8, uh, 12 candy bars would cost 
make an equal fraction to this, how much would 12 candy bars cost? Elijah? Oh, no. Um, 16. Yeah, $16. And that's what it means to be proportional and kind of equal and proportional and all that sort of stuff there. Um, so here's one they're going to ask you. Complete this proportion. Complete this proportion. Uh, 2 is to 6 as... What number is to 30? If two people take six hours to paint a room, ah, that one makes sense. That is wrong. Anyways, what would number would go on top of there? How would I do that? Aubrey? You would do um, 30 divided by 2, and that gets 15. So 2 times 15 is 30. Okay, well, I, I see where you're going with that, but I would probably just set it like this, and this is the same thing. How do you go from 6 to 30? You multiply by 5, and you would multiply the top by 5 as well. You're making equal fractions. So yeah, you could divide that by that and, and get that same thing. Uh, you could say 2 times 30 is 60, 6 times what is 60 to get that same thing. It's just, think about it just the same as making equal fractions. Um, and another question they ask, actually take a look at page uh, 433 in your books just quickly. Look at practice problem letter A. It says, which ratio forms a proportion with five halves? Which one of those fractions would be a proportion, or which ratio would be the same as 5 halves? Your choices are 3 halves, or 4 tenths, or 15 over 6, or 5 over 20. Which one of those forms an equal fraction of proportion or ratio, and why, Riley Harrington? See, because um, 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 3 is 15. Okay. Yeah, because if you take 2 times 3, you get 6, and if you take 5 times 3, you get 15. doesn't work for this. First of all, the bottom is the same here, so that'd be times 1, so 5 times 1, not the same. 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 5 is not 4. 2 times 10 is 20, 5 times 10 is not that. This is the only one where you can make what you 